Hey guys, how's it going? So, the balance patch just came out along with ML Sharoon, also the Elvira balance change as well, all today. So a lot of new things to try out. So I'm just gonna go through all of them and talk about my preliminary thoughts right now. Keep in mind, this is really early and these are mostly just my thoughts on the characters and whether they seem like they actually have potential or not. Uh, there's a lot of things that we don't know and the meta is probably gonna shift a little bit. So we'll have to see what happens, but let's start with Hua Young, right? So, Hua Young is a character that was really terrible before. And this change that they made, a lot of people are calling it a nerf, or they're just saying it's terrible, etc. I think it has potential. So, my current build, I have really tanky with 4,700 attack, 220 speed using Uberius. I think I'm going to change it to where she's a little faster, less tanky, more attack, and hopefully something like Torrent Set, possibly Immunity. But ideally, I think you want to go something like that. I think she has potential. Um, with my current build right here, if I S3 someone like, let's say, uh, Destina, I think, when they have no mitigation, I'm doing 22,000. And if they do have mitigation, obviously, it's going to be a lot lower. But this allows her to one-shot um, characters that don't have a ton of attack. So, like, Designer Little Bit, let's say, or someone like um, Emily Ufin, or someone like, uh, you know, Soul Weavers as well. She's able to kill all of those units in one hit, which I think is really big. Is she going to one-shot a big tank? No. No, she is not. But I think she's a more flexible unit than she was before. Also, her S1... Doesn't do insane damage, but it does more damage now. Um, it sucks that it doesn't work on evasion units still, but I think that this unit has some potential. But I'm finding it hard to use her. I think you mostly have to use her purely in aggressive teams. You can't use her in slow games too much, because what sucks is if she has a debuff, she doesn't get attack buff. If she doesn't have attack buff, she does zero damage. You have to have attack buff or she's unusable on S3, essentially. Because this cleanses, but she's already not gotten the attack buff, which is a huge problem. So that's my current thoughts on her. So next character I want to talk about is Elvira. So this is my current build. I have about 300 Efres. I find it's not as easy to use her as I thought it would be. The changes are really strong, and I think she has a lot of potential, but I will say, all the times I've taken her against M.O. Landy, it has not gone very well. And people are not picking a lot of these other characters into my drafts, other than M.O. Landy recently. So, I've been having a little bit of trouble using her against some of these other characters. What I will say, though, is that I think her S3 does a lot of damage, and it leads into the defense break, which essentially means that one of their teammates is just dead at the very start. Um, if you are playing aggressively, that's really good. And making it so these other fighting spirit units don't work is really strong. Also, if you just pick her into a cleave team that has someone like ML Pavel, he runs on fighting spirits, so he just doesn't proc, which is pretty big. Um, can really screw them over. So I think the whole fighting spirit thing, I just don't like characters that at the start of the game remove mechanics. So I don't like Belay and I don't like Solitaria. I hate all those kinds of characters. I think they're bad for the game. I just really don't like that concept. I think she's a character that will only become stronger in the future as well, um, because so many characters run on Fighting Spirit. So I would wait on recalling a little bit longer. I'm going to be investigating Elvira very thoroughly um, in the near future, um, much more, because I think she has a lot of potential and she might be really, really strong. So that's how I currently feel about her. Next, I think we go all the way down to the light section. So Specimen says... This is the build I'm currently using. I went originally with a lifesteal, much tankier build. Um, I found it wasn't really all that great, and I think it's better to go much higher damage with still some bulk. And I went Moonlight Dreamblade. I think it's possible you could just go for a damage evasion artifact as well, but I found Decrescent wasn't really doing anything. Because essentially, he does no damage with his S1. His S2 is like whatever damage. His S3 is the juice. That's the damage. That's everything you're accomplishing is with that one move. Everything else is just to get you to that move. I've been having a weird amount of success with him. But here's the thing. Sometimes he's just worthless. There's many games where it's like, oh, maybe he could work pretty well here. And then he just never lands stuns or my other allies land stuns, but it's at an awkward time for him. There's so much that can go wrong where either you don't land a stun or a certain unit lands a stun, but then the opponent takes the turn and, and uh, they're not stunned anymore, or they cleanse it, and it's kind of awkward. I found I was having a lot of trouble really utilizing him in a lot of my games, but he was a lot of fun. 
And with this much damage, his S3 actually hits significantly harder than I was expecting, even against targets that uh, are not stunned. So it was actually working relatively well. And I was using him in conjunction with Dragon King Sharoon constantly, who is the new character that just came out. This character um, does not seem like a pity character. I'm going to be using them a lot more as well, but I've used her and Spez the most of all. And while she might be smug, very smug in this picture right here, I'm not sure if she's really all that amazing. I even had a match where I used her against Death Through the Ray and I got so overwhelmed with debuffs it sucked. Her biggest problem is that she only cleanses stun and sleep. That's it. So I was just getting debuffed by everything else. Also, Angel of Light is her natural enemy where if you S3, she instantly cleanses, which really sucks. And then you also get silenced, which also really sucks. So kind of a huge problem. Now I will say the really cool thing though, is this stuns and pushes up 20%, and then this also pushes up 10%. So I was actually able to uh, sometimes just S1, it would push Spez and it would instantly S3 kill someone, which is awesome. A uh, really cool combo. I think they combo really well together and it's really fun actually. But she's such a niche character that it's like, would you use your pity on her? Probably not. I don't think you pity this character. Think about how many ML5s are like such a huge deal for your team comp and just like playing the game like Zeo and like ML Lilius, you know, these kind of characters that are like pinnacle top of the line characters. She doesn't really fit into that mold at all. So um, that's my current thoughts on her, but I got to be trying her out a lot more. Next, let's talk about Spirit Eye Selene. What changed? If you look at all the changes they made and you look at what she was before, they basically just took her numbers and they moved them all over. Um, I think she does a little bit more damage now, but that's it. Also, we looked at the data mine, same amount of lifesteal and stuff too. Basically, nothing changed about this character. Uh, pretty disappointing change. She's better against high defense targets, but that's really not all that incredible it makes her better versus a character like mlu Fien, and i guess against you know some of these other defense scalers but just not really anything super special now this finally brings us to oh uh, where are they judge kisei this character i tried using her a bunch of times i found it insanely difficult to use this character like ridiculously hard to use this character she's a character that's supposed to be like anti counterattacks and stuff like that but she sucks against aiden who's a counterattack character so you kind of just get wrecked right there she's bad against characters like angel of light she's bad against characters like edward that's not a counterattack, right um so she ends up kind of just getting owned like almost every time i tried to pick her it was just like She's kind of worse than Knockwall. She's kind of worse than Ran. She's kind of a combination of Ran and Knockwall, but she's not really as good as either of them at what they do. Like, Ran is the ultimate offense character and speed character, while Knockwall is, like, one of the ultimate debuffers and just disabling opponent's team. And she's somewhere in the middle, but she doesn't have the speed of Ran or the survivability of Knockwall being able to start the match invisible. So... Your opponent kind of has to just draft an honest tank down draft with like no tricks or anything at all. And they're just like, I'm going to pick four beefy tanks for you to use this character. And even then, this S2 is a 75% chance to decrease defense. Do you know how often that's not going to land? You might land like two of them. Like on average, you're probably going to land like two defense breaks, maybe three. And like... Maybe it's not on the right unit, or maybe it's on a unit that has crazy Ephra's. So I built her as like a pseudo damage dealer, pseudo debuffer. You might have to go full speed, full debuffer to really use, utilize this character well. But she felt really awkward to utilize, so I wasn't a huge fan of the change overall. I still think she has some potential, and there might be a cleave team where she really pops off. Or maybe you don't use her in cleave. Maybe you use her in a more aggro team, or maybe... You just use her as kind of a speedy opener, but not being able to use Guiding Light and not having high base speed is a really big problem, and it kind of just makes her super difficult to use. So overall, those are basically my thoughts on the changes and uh, the new unit so far at the moment. 
I'm probably going to be making videos on a bunch of these characters. Maybe a video on, like, each one of the characters. I might just try them every single day, honestly. Like, each day, I just try and spam a character and really make them work so I can get a really good in-depth review. But that's what I think at the moment. And, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the review. And for the rest of the video, I'll be showing you some games that I had where I used the characters. I'm not going to show off every character in this video because it would be way too long. But some of the more interesting ones that I had that kind of show off how the character is performing and how it looks in a normal match. So anyways, thanks a bunch for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you next time. Careful, please move aside. I am faster than Death Dealer Ray. Uh, we don't give it a silence or anything either. Hmm. In this one circumstance, this could be a problem. Angel of Light kind of ruins everything. Yeah, Angel of Light really screws me over, actually. No way you S3, right? Bro, he did it. I mean, like, what are you gonna do, right? Aren't I kind of just chilling? Yeah, even there, they're just like, uh... Okay, I mean, that really hurts, and I take some extra damage. You're gonna S2, right? 23,000 health! He's so tanky! Oh my god. Uh, wow. That's really tanky. Resistance? Is he actually on resist? He might be. I feel like we're okay. I'm really not that worried right now, I don't think. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing something, but... I don't know, I feel pretty safe. Oh, that slept them, which procced Sharoon, so she just pushed up. <laughs> That's funny. Is it when she takes a turn that she cleanses the team from sleep, or...? Oh, wait. Oh, it's just... Oh. Wait, that sucks. <laughs> Hey, that doesn't work at all. If we stun, we win. Stun. Oh, baby! It pushed up Spez 30% as well. Nope, nope, you can't hit me! Oh. Yep. Yeah. Nice proof of valor, boy! 32,000, alright. Oh, baby! This guy is a cannon. Oh, they're really protecting Landy, unsurprisingly. Um... I am the rightful ruler of this land. Kneel before me. Kneel before me. Okay, uh, we already lost the game. Oh, that's a good start. I used one ability on somebody else, and my whole team is about to die. That's good. Um... I think I literally cannot use these abilities because she's going to have so much Ephra's. And also because I proc Edward. So, I think George Kise is literally a dead pick here. Okay, we didn't get countered. That's cool. Uh, we're not dead yet. Okay, anti-crit doing its thing. Bit of a shame. Okay, nice. Anti-crit not doing its thing there. So we're dark versus light, so we have additional chance of critting. Let's hope we actually get something. Okay, we missed on him. I really wanted to hit him. But, I think we win. Judge Kise is not doing anything here, but... Bro, Hua Young's chilling. And they don't have mitigation. I think this is over. Like, what are you gonna do? I think this is over. Judge Kisei, she's just, you know, she's taking the aggro. She scared my opponent. Look, she scared my opponent into submission. Now we just kick them? Surely this kills, right? With Uvarius, it killed? <laughs> I mean, he ain't getting through that, so hey, it worked, okay? Was it the best pick ever? Maybe not. As long as I have something to protect, I 
Oh, or nah. I don't know if I really should S3 here, thinking about it now, but that's fine. Um, so do we just kill her? I guess so. I think she's gone. And we get immunity and we're looking kind of tanky, so I think we're kind of big chilling right here, right? 21,000 damage. This is going to do a lot of damage to this uh, Spectre Tenebria as well. It's going to really hurt. And like, even though Ken's gonna counter when Spez attacks, odds are he's not gonna hit. So I'm like kind of safe, honestly. I think. Only one way to find out, right? Let's stun her. Hey, he did it. And they missed. Well, I mean, he's invulnerable anyways. If they S3, she's gonna counter here. This guy's in trouble. Yeah, you missed 2,900 damage. That's nothing. He did zero damage to me. I'll kill you. Um, do we just keep a hitting him to see what happens? Keep poking the, poking the tiger. I healed for 400. <laughs> That's 3,400 damage. I'm so tanky. <laughs> Okay, and now let's see how much damage Hua Young does. So this is Soul Burn, right? That's with mitigation, 20%, 5,500. Not amazing, but the thing is, this guy can't do anything. I'm basically invincible. Like, what are they going to do? Right? Hell, I can just hit right here because Ken's not going to take a turn before Aiden. So, if they don't kill Aiden right here, he's just dead. There's nothing he can do. And my team is, like, really hard to kill. Really tanky? Like, is this gonna kill? Oh, wait. They're on them. Oh, you missed. Whoops. Looks like we got him. Not bad. All right, so she probably doesn't debuff me, but maybe Angel of Light does. Let's see what happens. Nope, no debuffs here. Okay, well, Spez is kind of in the gulag right here. Does this debuff me? She has no health. <laughs> nope, <laughs> doesn't debuff me either. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Bro, look how much damage we just did and defense broke. Holy crap. And unhealable. She can't even heal. And she can't proc her passive. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Landy has 20,000 health and she's doing a lot of damage to me right now. That two turn provoke kind of sucked too. Yeah, wait, isn't she just like dead? There's literally nothing that Bologna can do to survive this. She can't heal from anything. She can't cleanse nothing. She's just dead. She's actually just gone. Oh, I wish we could follow up that stun with something. That was a really nice stun to get though. Yeah, they're gonna S3 just for the damage. It's, wow, this is hitting hard. Oh my God, this thing's high damage. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish this off. Angel Light's gonna proc, which sucks. Oh, I did not need that dual attack. Actually, that dual attack was bad. Wait, they countered me. Wait, this is bad. Uh-oh. Uh... I'm taking a lot of damage here for free. Oh, God, and deal with it? Oh, man. That's not good. And deal with it? Yeah, I mean, Spez can't really die, it's true. Oh, Edward's gone. But how am I gonna kill Landy? 
This is such a stupid oh, match. I'll take your life. <laughs> if only I could counter actually at this point. Oh god, he got hit. Okay, well, I guess I lose. Okay, but let's be real. Elvira kind of, she kind of slaps though, right? I know that my team completely like died, but Elvira kind of went hard here. Even though the rest of my team completely failed me. So, oh well. Too bad. Next time. Hold on. It's Hui! I'm fighting him in the content creator battle. He's my matchup. Oh, crap. It's Hui. My brother. Be afraid. Counter attack. Yeah. Oh my. Okay, it's fine though. Let's see. He's learning my strats for the content creator battle. So I guess we soul burn. <laughs> Land everything, please? Never lose we really missed defense break on the unit that needed the most, huh? And we also landed nothing on her. Okay, well, that could have gone better. This is my and my fate. Resistance, resistance. Will you fight until the end? <laughs> I feel like my effectiveness and Circus Fantasia was completely useless. How much Ephraz does he have? What is this an Ephraz T Surin? What the hell just happened? And what is Shrun even here for? Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking Judge Kisei uh, is a little hard to use. Hmm. 